Hello. <clears throat> well, today I'm going to talk about uh, Rocky V. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> this movie is uh, seen as uh, <clears throat> the... Uh, the worst in the franchise or the uh, weakest in the franchise, whichever you prefer. I think, um, I think weakest would be a very good, uh, term for it. Um, yeah, the, uh, there are good things about this movie. Um, so it's not a film, you know, I, I myself out, out and out dislike, um, there are various entertaining moments, um, but yeah, there are. It's it's just it's it's quite different in uh, from anything uh, we had seen up to this point. Um, you know, of course, just like all the films prior, you get uh, the ending from the last film at the beginning. So we see the like a good portion of a fight of Rocky IV with Ivan Drago. And then uh, once that's all done, uh, Rocky is in the shower and uh, Tony Duke, who, uh, you know, the uh, Apollo's former trainer and uh, who, uh, helped Rocky uh, train in uh, the last two films. He's there, you know, helping, you know, get things up, and he gets uh, Adrian, and there's, you know, something wrong with Rocky, you know, or something uh, that uh, isn't, you know, you know, we're not totally sure what, um, but... You know, they get home, they talk, and, you know, this guy uh, comes up, you know, as they're doing the press, uh, <clears throat> and uh, George Washington Duke, he wants Rocky to fight uh, this guy he has, uh, Union Kane, so that he um, can have a chance at the title, you know, just see if he can... Uh, if Rocky's able to basically have the title, or if he'll get the title taken away. And, uh, you know, they're like, Rocky is retired. That's what, you know, Adrian says. And, uh, you know, they leave and he, uh, they go home, see his son, and, uh, yeah, he's. Mine isn't too, uh, sharp, uh, anymore. Uh, place compared to the previous films we have seen and uh find out that Polly left a, a power of attorney to the uh, uh accountant who then took all of Rocky's money is and is somewhere and so now they're gonna try to have to uh do what they can to get his money back but it's gonna take quite some time and uh so they're all broke uh thanks polly um and of course polly doesn't want to take the brunt of the, or the blame of it he's trying to deflect it onto someone else oh you you did this <laughs> and uh so they have to go back to essentially like the you know like the neighborhood uh that they were all in in the first film and uh yeah they uh they're all uh, adjusting to how things are and uh you know uh, uh rocky goes and uh starts up a mighty mix you know, Mickey's old place, which, and we also get to see new footage of uh, Burgess Meredith. Uh, this is the final time we will ever see um, 
Burgess Meredith as Mickey and you know any new footage you know they reused footage of him in the fourth film and not to get ahead of my head but you know in the sixth film there's footage of him uh uh in that film but so you know he's uh open the gym and uh also throughout this whole time you know but uh george duke keeps uh trying to get uh you know tries to get his, uh, rocky to fight union kane he wants him to yeah they want the two of them to fight but you know uh, he, that's not working and uh eventually uh this guy uh, tommy gunn uh, is there, and they were, uh, he stops by, uh, to, um, <clears throat> uh, to the gym, and, you know, he's, shows what he's got, but he's kind of like a brawler, which, in a way, is sort of, I guess, like, uh, Clubber Lang, though maybe Clubber Lang wasn't exactly a brawler, it was just the best way I could put it. They don't really call Clubber Lang that. It's just like the way he fights. Well, well, they might have called him that, but you know, having seen these movies like back to back, some some of that information kind of sometimes blurs together, which is kind of a problem sometimes with uh, doing these sort of marathons because sometimes these movies sort of just fuse together to the point where recalling every important detail of certain of discussing certain things are kind of aren't the easiest but regardless you know they, Tommy definitely is being called a he's sort of like a brawler with how he's fighting and everything you know it's supposed to be sparring so nothing too uh too much uh excuse me but you know he uh uh, Rocky sees something in Tommy and he decides he's going to train him. So he uh, uh, dedicates quite a bit of time at the gym and with Tommy, who, whom also eventually uh, 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 stays with uh, Rocky and his family. So that creates a certain dynamic with the family, um, with Tommy living there. And now uh, Tommy seems to take up a lot of uh, Rocky's attention and uh, uh, his son, Robert. He's not getting much attention from his dad. And he also has a bully and gets beat up. Uh, gets his jacket taken and money taken. And so he... Uh, He, he starts to kind of fight in the gym and everything and he starts to do what uh what he can so that way you know if he ever confronts if he's uh you know confronted again by the bullies he's able to sort of like uh, defend himself and he eventually does that he beats up a, bu a bully the bully that's uh <laughs> keeps a uh, picking on him and he gets his coat his you know his jacket back and uh coat or whatever and he goes to talk to or tell his dad, but his dad's too into uh, d dealing with Tommy and training him to really pay much attention. And so uh, that definitely uh, has a strain on the father-son relationship. And uh, and I know people all, often point out how uh, between four and five, which take place basically right after another it, it like picks up uh, uh, pretty soon uh, how uh, his son basically grew uh, pretty fast and part of that is because uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone's son Sage Stallone is in this film he's not of the same age that you know uh, at that point in time as the actor who was 
uh, Robert in the fourth film, so, you know, there's all that, but, anyway, uh, you know, he keeps trading Tommy, and, uh, things at home, you know, things keep escalating, and Tommy's friends with, like, the bully then, you know, he's a, it's one of those things where uh, you stand up to the person and eventually make him become your friend. And so, uh, things escalate, and on Christmas, around Christmas time, he uh, kind of blow up, and now uh, basically Rocky doesn't know about you know what's going on. He, only, he basically cares about Tommy, and all this is running him and. Uh, uh, Tommy is also uh, being uh, looked at by uh, uh, Georgia Duke uh, to try and get a fight with uh, Kane. So he's basically using or doing a lot of things like you, you know he gave uh, uh, Tommy like a girlfriend as well as a partner and a nice car and all these things. And getting him like an opportunity where you know Tommy's like you know without with going the way that Rocky's training him he will never uh, have a chance at the title or anything so there is all of that and um, <clears throat> Rocky uh, also Learned something that he was trying to tell his son about, you know, not getting conned and everything, but, you know, Rocky himself got conned by with Tommy and George Washington Duke and all that, and all that's going on there, and, um, uh, he and, uh, Robert, uh, they talk for a bit, and they, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, uh, basically patch things up and uh, things are good with them and that's all good. Uh, but uh, finally, uh, Tommy and uh, uh, Union uh, fight and uh, people aren't too happy with Tommy because, you know, Rocky isn't there. He helped train him to get there and yeah, he's just uh, not present, so people aren't happy with that. Uh, people are uh, uh, booing him, uh, especially when he wins, and how like you know Union Kane basically wasn't at the top of his game, and so him winning like the like being like the world champion uh, boxer, uh, people aren't happy. People think it was a bunch of nonsense and now uh, he's just a puppet for Rocky and all that but of course Rocky doesn't see that he's trying to train him to be the best he can be but obviously you know when you're dealing with all that that's kind of a or in that moment it might like for Tommy might not uh, seem like that's the case but yeah Rocky's just trying to give him all the knowledge that he has and that he's able to give him and train um, train him to be the best f uh, fighter he can be and uh, it gets to where uh, they're at, uh, at the bar that we saw in the first one, you know, Andy's bar and uh, they go there uh, or, uh, Rocky and Polly are there and uh, you know, and also, people are also really uh, not happy that uh, when when Tommy did win, he didn't mention Rocky at all. Like, he was like, oh, George W. Uh, 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 Dukes. Uh, he, like, he's the reason he got to that point. Like, it was all thanks to Duke. Duke was able to get him to that position when that wasn't the case. Like, he wasn't the one who trained him and got him in physical 
conditioned to try and, uh, 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 you know, compete in the best way he could in the ring or fight in the ring. So all this escalates to Tommy uh, confronting um, You know, fighting or, or confronting Tommy to or Brocky to fight him anywhere, anytime, anywhere, and so he's not going to do it. And then Polly's talking to Tommy now, he's garbage and all this and that, and he didn't deserve all this. And then he, uh, uh, uh Tommy knocks down Polly, which, uh, he's not, uh, which Brocky isn't, uh, Obviously fond of that, and he tells him that his ring's outside, and uh, the two of them start to fight, uh, the street fight, which is, this is probably the best part of the film, you know, the two of them fighting, you know, like teacher and student, and they're just going at it, and uh, all of this comes to, you know, you know, I guess like round one, <laughs> you know, there's round, like a uh, few rounds, and uh First round, Rocky wins. Second round, Tommy wins. He's getting beat up and everything. And then, um, uh, then they have one more round where uh, Rocky wins. And by that point, uh, you know, it's being broadcast because, you know, uh, Tommy came out with cameras and everything. And then more people have arrived. So, on the news, people are seeing what's going on, and uh, Adrian and Robert show up and uh, watch Rocky uh, beat Tommy. And then, uh, as uh, he's uh, going to leave, he, uh, George Duke says something, and uh, uh, Rocky goes up to him and he goes like, you touch me, I'll sue. And then he just bunches him, uh, lays him out you know, onto the car. He goes like, sue me for what? You know, because at this point, you know, Rocky doesn't really have anything other than his family. So it's like, you know, there's that. And uh, so and then the film ends with uh, Robert and Rocky going up the stairs of the museum and... Uh, uh, of course, at this point, the statue is still there at the top, so, uh, uh, they talk, and he, uh, Rocky gives him a necklace with a glove that Mickey gave him years ago, which, uh, Rocky was going to give to Tommy, but then, at the end, he gives it to his son, and, uh, then the two go into the uh, museum, and um, and that's the film. Um, another thing, you know, with this movie that people uh, complain about, and rightfully so, is with the whole, you know, when he's, which I didn't really talk about, but it's like, I, I guess that kind of should have its own thing. Uh, sections are like separate from the overall just discussion discussing of what all goes on in the film which is uh how basically rocky has brain damage which you know does make a good amount of sense considering the people he's fought you know he's fought apollo creed twice clubber lang and then the last film it was uh uh ivan drago who you know he killed apollo creed so yeah, well, it is it is believable that uh, Rocky would have brain damage. Obviously, with uh, the sixth one, we know that's not the case. So, again, I don't want to jump into that film at all. <clears throat> not in this video, but... Uh, Sylvester Stallone, who, of course, wrote this film, as well as stars, and he himself was not... Um, fond of the end product that this film had, and um, uh, George G or you know, John, George, I'm too busy with George, but John G. Al Adelson, he uh, directed this film, 
came back. He directed the first film and directed the fifth, which is interesting. You know, the first is often cited as the best of the franchise, and the fifth is the seen as the weakest or the worst. So he was able to, I guess, make the best and the worst. But yeah, and that whole thing, you know, while I completely understand, uh, the logic as to the reason like he's taken so many beatings the fact that in the sixth film it's like okay well this is now kind of inconsistent to some extent though i guess considering how stallone wasn't fond of this movie kind of i guess it kind of does make sense in in that way but would have been nice though if it was just like he was he was misdiagnosed and like, he just had something wrong where maybe as time goes on he will improve and that just happened to be wrong um even though in this scene that where it's talked about it seems just very definitive that this is you know serious and that this is uh uh accurately what's going on with rocky because he's head hurts he's just you know not able to you know, function as well as he has, like, verbally and everything, as we've seen him in the past uh, four films. Um, Tommy Morrison, who was a real-life boxer, played uh, Tommy in, the, in this film. So, um, you know, that's cool. Um... Yeah, this isn't the best uh, film of the of the franchise, and while I do think it is the weakest, there are some elements that are nice. You know, it's nice to see you know Robert uh, training alongside with seeing uh, his dad train Tommy, and then standing up for himself. The street fight at the end is excellent, um, and yeah, there are. Some moments here and there that are nice. Um, though the whole thing with Polly and given the like power of attorney to his accountant, that's kind of odd and weird. And though I guess in a way it is supposed to be like a character with Polly, he does something I think is good, but it wasn't. I don't know. There's uh, this film is criticized for a lot of things. I think many of those criticisms are warranted, but. This is still an entertaining film. You know, I think there's enough entertaining moments in it that, you know, while there are certain parts that are very weak and or could have been maybe uh, expanded upon here or there. I don't know. It's, for what it is, it's fine. It's not the best, but it isn't. Uh, horrendous as some people make it out to be and I mentioned how how before um, uh, pretty sure it was last video with Rocky 4 but you know there's a work print uh, out there um, of Rocky 5 that I guess Stone would like to do but or try to get done like it's floating out and they're on the internet i haven't seen it so far so i can't say whether or not that's good but from what i've heard this work print is very good um like i would i would assume it kind of addresses certain issues or at least there's more scenes that kind of make the film maybe a little fuller a lot better um I don't know. I don't. I, I just heard that it's good and it'd be worth watching and uh, seeing in 4K and Blu ray and all that stuff. So I don't know. Uh, but also, if it's just a work print, too, I'm curious about the quality because sometimes those aren't always the greatest uh, of quality. But who knows? Um, Hopefully, we will get to see that at some point, though, considering Stallone didn't direct that, I can definitely see how there could be, perhaps, 
some hesitation on his part because he was just like an actor and writer. Also, his son was in the film and his son passed away. Uh, uh, I forget exactly when, some years after uh, Rocky Balboa. But still, you know, uh, there could be a few reasons, you know, why uh, this work print um, <clears throat> has it been perhaps cleaned up and adjusted and just made to look the best that it could be. And then just like, you know, the, with the knockout collection, you have two versions of Rocky IV, you know, who knows, maybe one day there will be another kind of 4k set or at least a second one with uh rocky five rocky balboa and the creed films and perhaps the or maybe all of them you know who knows and you could have two versions of rocky uh five also um uh you know anything's possible um i like to see uh this work print, uh, I guess, would be like a, perhaps like a director's cut of sorts of what John Avelson wanted, and perhaps what was also in stolen script that we don't see. And um, yeah, you know, regardless, uh, for what Rocky Five is now, um, it's all right. It's not the best, as I said. It's. Uh, would it be the worst? Yeah, but it isn't horrendous like some people make it out to be. You know, some people make it like, oh, it's like the worst movie ever made. No. Um, there are far worse films in Rocky V. I would say because there are entertaining moments uh, throughout the film. Um, uh, at least enough for me where, you know, uh, I'm not bored really. And, and sure, some of the acting in this film isn't the best, but for what it is, it's fine. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I basically enjoy all these films, um, even what, what would be considered the weakest ones. I'm able to find something where it's like, you know, this is still worth watching. It's still entertaining. Um, so, you know, that's a... I think that's always a plus whenever a movie uh, has uh, enough good parts in it where even if it's like a part of a franchise and it's the weakest part of the, uh, one of the franchise, I guess I should say, there's still enough good in it to where, you know, you're able to uh, see uh, the best of it. I can see see the the best out of it, I guess I, should, uh, I would say. It's a bit late now and kind of rambling also, but Rocky Five for what it is, it's pretty good. Not the best, maybe the worst, but even though it's the worst, it isn't terrible. And that's all I have to say. I hope all of you are doing well. Hope all of you are having a great day and have had a great week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.